Oh, looks like the hatchet is begun. Look at this. Welcome to Earth. Look at these extra scutes. Amazing. These are the only four that made it. These two are like holding hands. Welcome, Welcome back, back Shell Squad. Squad. We are going to start making the housing for these young ladies. A freshly hatched diamondback terrapin. They're super active now and they're starting to get interested in stuff. The egg yolk on the bottom has all been absorbed. She looks beautiful. So you're here because you want to see how to make a hatchling turtle tank. And the reason why we're housing them at this point in time is because we started having clues that they're ready. Um, one is the activity level, but check out the little poop there. No poop. So we're going to build it with step-by-step -step instructions just for you to follow along. Let's get it! Taking care of a turtle or a baby turtle can be very easy. For redder sliders and diamondback terrapins or any turtles that need a similar habitat, we're going to go over that right now. I want to recommend that you highly think about what the turtle's going to need uh, as an adult and how long they're going to live. If you do a good job, man, they can live a, long, a time. long time. Maybe if you take a great care of it, it'll live as long as you. See, the little guys are right there getting ready for their new home. I actually recommend a 10 gallon tank for hatchlings because it's easier for them to find the food mostly. <laughs> Turtles grow really fast, okay? What we're gonna start with today is a 20 gallon long tank. So this is gonna be the first time they're in their brand new home. Let's get into this. So you can use a 20 gallon long tank just like this. You could use a plastic tub just like this one which is kind of like a fish tank, right? Sorry. <laughs> or you can use one of these large cement mixing tubs. This is, they make smaller ones than this. This is a really big one. You, you won't need this for a hatchling, um, but you could use something like this. It works just fine. Gave me a heart attack. So the general turtle rule of thumb is 10 gallons of water for every inch in shell length. So for here, for these little guys who are about an inch, I can show you here, it's about one, two. So about right here is where we're searching for, okay? So to save money, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and just start with a hatchling tank, which is gonna be really good at getting them started, very important part of their life. And then you can go ahead and just, just go to an adult setup. I mean, I don't know, that's what I would do anyway. Uh, for the bottom of the tank, I don't recommend anything for hatchlings. If you wanna do some gravel, just make sure they're large enough that the turtle cannot swallow those, the rocks. Uh, and get a blockage and then it can die. So uh, we just stay away from that altogether. These rocks would actually work okay, uh, but as you, if you look carefully, there some pieces are like really small and that's the one you're gonna regret. The filter's gonna do a great job cleaning this thing if there's nothing there anyways. So mm -hmm. I'll go with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. You are gonna need some kind of basking area for the turtle's health. They do need to get out of the water. Um, typically, they won't come out of the water unless they need to as a hatchling. There's many ways to accomplish this. You can use wood, pieces of plastic. They do sell stuff like these floating docks like this. I only really recommend for hatchlings. They don't really work well as the turtles get larger. Hey, you want to save some bucks? Bam! Just use a brick. In fact, we are going to use a brick today and one of these basking platforms. So the main function of the basking areas is to allow the turtle to dry off. Sarah, we just need to make sure they're getting off and drying off completely to have a healthy skin. We like to use little fake plants like this. We don't use them very long. Once the turtles look like they're swimming really well and getting along in the tank, we start pulling these out. Maybe, maybe we'll take one of these strands out every week and just see how they do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put most of this behind the brick so it doesn't move very much. And that's where the hatchlings can hide feel safe, or even just rest. Okay, so also, if you have these, and the turtles want it, don't want to go right there, you can just like put this under so they have a little own spot of theirs, like this. Yeah, so hatchlings, they're gonna like to hide under whatever they can. These floating docks, that gives them a place to hide. And I, you put these on the bottom, they'll be loving it. <laughs> they're gonna be there almost all the time. The third thing you're gonna need is a heater. We like these submersible heater types, the one that you can actually control the temperature. As the temperature around the tank changes, so will um, your needs to adjust the temperature. Any of them will do. This is the really cheap one. I wanna say it was like 15 bucks. This tank we found used for 10 bucks. The brick was free. These plants cost 
I think they costed us about $7, but you can skip this all together and just add more bricks or whatever's free if you're on a budget. So this is what the heater looks like. And as you turn it, this knob, you can adjust the temperature and it tells you right here, hopefully I'm holding that well for you guys. You can see it, um, wherever it's red, that's how hot it's gonna get, okay? Just make sure you're getting the right heater for your tank size. Uh, this one is 100 watts. These girls were incubated over 80 degrees. I want to keep the temperature where their bodies are used to it. So I'm gonna keep the water temperature about 80 degrees. Many of you know that I like canister filters. Bigger the better. Uh, before these hatchlings, we are gonna go with smaller is better. They are at very high risk of drowning in a strong current. So this just pretty much moves the water. I wouldn't even say it does any real job filtering. For the first two to four weeks, I'm just gonna clean out the water every day or two uh, myself. I do wanna stay away from the basking area so they have a place that they can drop into the water and not hit anything. Um, so I'm gonna go on this side of the tank here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna blow right past the heater and make the heater even be more efficient. Oh look, the baby shells are loving it right now. Look, they're looking. <laughs> they even are looking. Since we're talking about heating, if you aren't heating the water with a water heater, you could always use an above the tank blast, uh, basking light, uh, something with UVB, something very low intensity. Um, as hatchlings, some people are finding that they don't really get exposed to much UVB at all. Um, and we've raised them with low UVB and had no issues at all. If you not, aren't heating the water, then you do want the bowl basking area to reach about 90 degrees. But make sure you're measuring the temperature because as the water level goes up and down, so will the distance from the bulb, which means so will the temperature. And for babies, just go small. Everything small is great. Um, they can thrive on small stuff. Uh, but once they reach about three to four inches, go with the bigger adult setup. And add the water. <laughs> so we're shooting for about two inches. We're ballparking it. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, that's warm. <laughs> Looking at the filter, it's kind of, a, uh. it kind of became a boat. I'm just gonna add all the water there. I try to make it so that the turtles can rest here. They're gonna be able to climb up here and dry, drive off. Drive off. They're not old enough to drive. And dry <laughs> off, or they can come over here. Nice and toasty. Perfect temperature, what you did there. Check. So let's get them in the water. I call to put them in first. Okay, you ready to go in first? I'm gonna put you right there. You guys can hop in wherever you want, because it's your life. Not mine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's one more. So did I drop the water in? This water? Sure. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See enough water? That one flipped over and it can easily ride itself up. Look, this one's going straight for the plants. This oh. one doesn't know what he's doing. I'll just get them a little toasty so they're not cold. Oh my god, look at that one! It's like, yes! That's a toasty at last! Okay, so we just did everything real fast. They didn't go out. I put them closer to the water so they can see it. See, this one right here, it's almost going out. Three of them are in there! Yeah. <laughs> they both picked their heads out. Oh, look at that one. It wants to be a movie star. Oh, look that one! Look! In the water. It went from the crack. <laughs> Silly. Look straight into the plants. <laughs> they are now all like in a group. <laughs> just right next to each just other. Just two the of them are not in. This is the bold one here. The tiniest one in the group. I can so mighty. Tiny, but mighty. I'm mighty. Okay, so we took all the greenery out, but they still have a second base. Oh no! <laughs> Must head to second base! Come on. Yeah. <laughs> They're all over this brick. See that? Oh look! Look! That dude's right there! She's right there! Oh no, it's looking she does that! Is she gonna come out? Oh look, her oh. sister! Sister's checking on her. These girls are just enjoying their swimming new home. 
Yeah, I did take I did take the plants out of here. Hey, hey, look at me. Join us on the next video where we are actually going to start feeding these little girls their first meal ever. What will they like? Come on, sweetie, just do it. We've been trying to record you all this time. Come on, we want you to come in the water. Come on, it'll be here. First ever big tank. <laughs> come on, come on, I can't wait anymore. I want to see Rocky. See, and this would be the issue here. If this was a strong filter, it might get sucked in there. But look, that filter is blowing hard, but it is not causing any problems for them. And they are just loving just being cute, being healthy, and getting Aww, a real, hi. getting a real Oh, Dad, look, water. look, Dad, look. <laughs> she still hasn't gone in the water yet. She's like, no, only when no one looking, I'll go in. That water is a little cold. I like 85, not 80. <laughs> and that is how they hang out on the brick instead mm. of a plant. And you can't eat that, so it's good. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this little girl is trying to eat the leaves. That shows you they're ready to eat. We got to get this done. So, last remarks. I wanted to stress that water quality is the most important factor, so tank size and filter are eventually going to play huge factors and roles um, in these terrapins' health. Diamondback terrapins and redder sliders are very strong swimmers. Uh, you don't need to worry about them drowning as long as they have enough resting areas near the surface of the water um, and that they don't have any areas that can get trapped under the water. See you in the next baby turtle care video.